Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing West of Loathing and let us continue here. Um, I believe I had some things I was going to turn in. I had a whole, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. <laughs> Look at it all. Okay. Let's talk to our partner. She is there to help us with our side quest. Um, am I forgetting about something? Alice, she told the bartender and the jewels, did I get to fix their book? Okay. Um, the saltpeter back, yep, yeah, I got the saltpeter, and I believe he is, mind you don't step in my horse leavings, fellow, this thing has got no shame, <laughs> uh, who are you peoples, dang it, I got schmutz all over my favorite top hat, okay, um, Jill. Oh, hot dog. Oh, I guess this is what this is for. Hmm? I wonder if we can stop it. Okay, sure. Let's see here. Let's go visit Doug. Let me see what you got for sale, Doug. Hmm. No, it's not letting me do anything. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old Durga, how you do? How do yourself? The sign outside, um, yeah, I had to change the name. I tried to file a trademark, and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. Really? Hmm. What is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, a single letter removed, and I'm in business. He gestures at the menu on the wall behind him. Buy something? Sure, what do you got here? Um, elegant hot dog. This is exactly enough sausage and exactly enough bun to qualify as a hot dog. It is perfectly efficient. Okay, or a jumble dog. Increases your muscle by six for the rest of the day. Oh, wow. Six? A thick, sturdy hot dog for a thick, sturdy cowboy. Hmm. Or a saucy dog. Increases your moxie. This hot dog has been embellished with a zesty sauce. Don't get too excited, though. The zesty sauce is just regular old mustard. I like mustard on my hot dogs. Hmm. Let's go for a stir. Let's go for a jumble. Jumble dog. I'll buy a jumble dog. Cool. Well, good luck with your new business. Doug grins as you approach the counter. Buy something? Nope. I already did. Okay. So, the shop is where? I believe the shop is... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have a letter? <clears throat> Let us see. Hi, I'm Lurga the Shark. Any mail from me? Um, nope. Darn. Man, why not? Okay. So, I believe... There's a weird ghostly carriage. I'm going to get into that after I get done updating some of my stuff here. Um, so the kitchen, poker room, there he is, kitchen. Let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of him. Have you got that salt, Peter, yet? Yep, got it right here. How's this stuff? Dang, so I gained 10 XP. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper because it's really spicy. Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They grow in the area outside of town. You should be able to find one if you just wander around a while. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and eat this hot dog. Cool. You eat the hot dog. It takes a while because it's so big. You get an extra jumble doggin. Jumble doggin? Ooh, six plus muscle. Yes, it was a very big dog. Okay. Anything in here? This lady too busy washing dishes. This is where the chef preps ingredients. Okay, let's see here. Is any more? Um, nope. Oh yeah, let's talk to you again. All right. Um. Forget about something. Side quest. Um, 
I also just poking around in your water and asked if anybody needs any help. Hmm. That's another suggestion. Now says you should get that pepper, the chief. Al says you told the bartender. Uh, I guess that's all the. Is that all I did? Hmm. Okay, what about our side one? Or our main quest? <clears throat> well, if you're looking to find out the lay of the land, I, oh yeah, I gotta go to the railroad crew. Okay, makes sense. All right. Do I get to sleep? Did we have anything? Um, need help with anything? Oh no, I'm still working on it. Okay. So I guess I'm just gonna go wander around. But this is a D, this is a DLC. There's a weird ghostly carriage here. So let's go in for a ride. You hop in the ghostly carriage, which seems to support your, your hmm, and Alice's weight well enough. An invisible driver yells, yeah, and cracks an invisible whip, an invisible horse snorts. The carriage starts moving and soon you're out of sight of dirt water. Cool. Hitching the ride in a ghost carriage. Are we now? Broke, broken, wrecking at gun manor. T Gun and Company, LTD. A thick gray fog, fog envelops the car carriage and you lose all sense of time and space. Eventually, the fog clears and the carriage parks near a very large and ornate mansion. A disembodied voice calls, all out for Gun and Manor, last stop. Okay, Gun and Manor. Oh, this is what this is called, huh? It's kind of big. Oh, who are you? It's a lady carrying some weird equipment. Yeah, it looks like a ray gun or something. Excuse me, do you work here? Who, me? No, nuts. I can't find any employees in the gift shop either. I haven't even started this job yet, and already it's a pain in my neck. What's wrong? I can't get inside Mrs. Gunn. I can't get inside. Mrs. Gunn hired me to come out here and deal with a bunch of spot spooks that's haunting up the place. I can't do that if I can't even get in the front door, though. Who's Mrs. Gunn? You never heard of Terry Gunn? Should I have? Well, I would think so. She's a pretty famous inventor. You've got her best-known invention hanging right there on your belt. She invented belt buckles? Wow. Guns. She invented guns. Oh. <laughs> Spooks like in ghosts? Exactly like that. Yep. Thirteen of them, according to my instruments. Florence Cunningham. Cunningham Ghost Annihilation Services. That's me. Well, interesting. What do you an annihilate them with? Science. I was going to guess that weird kind of rifle-like contraption you're carrying. Yeah, it shoots science. But what's, what's wrong with the front door? The front door? Well, it's, uh, locked? No, not locked, no. So what's the problem? Okay, see, I'm a ghost hunter. I ain't a spider hunter. I don't hunt spiders at all. And there's a huge, gross, hairy, fanged, drooling, giant spider in the foyer. So until I either find another way in or find someone else to take care of the spider hunting side of this biz, I'm staying right the frig out here, okay? Well, I can see you feel pretty strongly about this. I do. Well, maybe I can help you out. Hey, that'd be so swell. You know, you look reasonably tough and or why, why don't we team up? I'll handle the ghosts, and you can handle the things that aren't ghosts. Okay. Hang on a minute. I'll be right back. Now, let me do some wandering around first. Is that, can, I, can I click on anything? Oh, here's a sign. It's an informative plaque about the hedge maze. Oh, there's a hedge maze. The Gun Manor Hedge Maze was erected in 1888 for the entertainment of guests and the families. Then, two daughters. You are welcome to meander is past, although we recommend caution during the winter. Below that is pasted a handwritten note. Actually, we recommend staying out altogether because some crazy wizard moved in and has been animating the shrubs. Danger! <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm intrigued now as I'll get. I'm going to have to go in there. Let's talk to Alice first. Find out. Oh, I'm running. Well, my butt must be itching like crazy for me to be walking that way. Oh, there's a visitor center. Past here is nothing. 
Where is this place? Oh, let's go to the Gun, Gun Manor Visitor Center. The Visitor Center is bereft of any employees. Where the heck is everyone? Let's see if we can find them. Um, there's an old-fashioned photograph of Mrs. Gunn on the wall with a little expl explanatory plaque and underneath it. Hmm, take a closer look. The photograph is a young Mrs. Gunn smiling as she accepts a family fancy trophy from a man in a suit. A frowny man wears a lab coat is standing next to her, or behind her. The plaque reads, Terry Gunn and Assistant, accepting the 1869 why didn't we think of that award for excellence in inventing from the National Academy of Profitable Sciences? Why? Because he invented it and he's mad. The sign on this machine says, Genuine Gun Manor Survivor Tokens. Make your wishes come true. Just 50 me. Do as it says. The machine trades your brass token trade you a brass token for your meat. You got an item. Gun Manor Survivor Token. Souvenir Token. This token says it can be redeemed for one souvenir. It seems like they could have cut out a step and just sold you a souvenir. Yeah, that's that's what I think, too. Okay. You don't know what this machine does, but you do know you don't you don't know how to operate it. Okay. There's nobody here to validate your parking or otherwise. The crank is missing from this record player. Oh, no, I should have taken, kept that right, I should have taken, bleh, kept that crank from mine at home. It's an info desk, but the only info you know about it right now is that there's nobody staffing it. Well, how about snacks? Unfortunately, there's nobody here to sell you a snack right now. What about photos? The photo counter is unattended and you don't know how to use this kind of camera. Hmm. You're not a thief, so you're going to have to wait until there's someone you can pay before you get any of this candy. No, I want some candy. Uncharacteristically, the IRS has actually added 50% to the sign. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, it's not uncharacteristic or not. Well, I didn't help me with anything. Where's the souvenir? Where did I? Hmm. Know where I put my souvenir coin? All right, let's talk to Alice. Well, have you ever seen a house like this big? Nope. I've heard Gun Manor was a real sight to behold, though. It sure is. Must have cost a fortune. I reckon Mrs. Gunn has a fortune or two to spare. What would you do with that kind of money? Well, I never go thirsty, that's for certain. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, yeah, you wouldn't. Well, can we get in this door? The carriage house door is locked. Pick the lock. Go inside. Okay. We got some shears over here. It's a pair of hedge clippers. Let's grab them. Yeah, I think I'm going to need them if I'm going to be, um, ooh, applies this poison to enemy, too. Mm-hmm. What's this over here? Maybe there's something useful in this cabinet. Open it and see. There is. There is something useful. You get an item, nearly empty herbicide can. Hmm. And a handful of nails. Hmm. This can says this instantly kills all plants, but it feels like there's only one plant's worth of deadly chemicals left. Okay. What about this carriage? Hey, somebody left a book on the seat of this one. Oh, you got an item. Advanced cow punching volume. Yes. Okay. Increase our skills. <clears throat> Let's read it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a complex punctuation guide written by a linguist who was raised by cows. It gives mincing moo, a skill that reduces the muscle of all of your opponents. Hmm. There's a chapter about rubbing your skin with sandpaper in order to thicken it. <clears throat> or gore, oh. There's a chapter written by a guy who survived 17 different near-fatal gorings. He really learned a lot about getting gored. Gives gore, a skill that lets you attack an entire row of enemies. Ooh. Entire row of enemies. Oh yeah, we need to learn gore. Unfortunately, you accidentally gore the book into bits while practicing what you've learned. Crap. Always, always. Oh, they have their own cushion stage coaches. Hey, there's something on the floor of this coach. It's a courtesy hammer for the coach's passengers. An item, well, now um, provides the option to hammer things in certain places, particularly if you have some nails. And I just happen to have some nails. That's not that nice. Oh, there's a guy here with a cigar. 
These are some nice coaches, are they really? There's a guy sloshing around in here smoking a cigarette. Well, it looked more like a cigar to me. Hiya. Hey, sup. Do you work here? Are you a parking attendant or something? Yeah, I guess. I validate people's parking in that. Can you... I'm on break. Oh. Well, really, everyone's on break, kind of. What do you mean? A whole bunch of ghosts showed up on in ghost carriages all of a sudden. Everyone's either hiding out or kidnapped. I, I got here in a ghost carriage. Oh, man, did I die somewhere and not notice? Am I a ghost? The guy jabbed your forehead with your finger. Ow! Nope. Um, convinced him to go back to work. Okay, well, you should probably go back to work now. Yeah? Why is that? Because I'm going to rescue all the other employees, and if they come back and catch you sucking off, they'll be ticked. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Just let me finish this smoke before you go getting all hectic. Heroic. Oh, I gained 15 XP. Heroic. Heroic. Ooh. Can we take any of this? Pile of bones. Build bones. What did I just build? A pile of boards. Build something. Hammer nails. Oh. Boo. It says boo. Ah! <laughs> okay. And what's this? Various boring tools like drills and all Tools for boring. Yeah. It's just stay late. It's not worth getting into a late over. Mm -hmm. Am I going to use it for something? I wonder. Am I allowed to nail this down? Um, looks like I might be all out of nails. But I still got my hammer. For, you know, hammering anything that I might need along the way. Better go back to work, dude. Are you over here now? Oh, there you are. Parking validation. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Hey, let me, uh, they let you smoke in here? Let's just say they haven't successfully stopped me. Why sneak off to the carriage house to smoke if you can do it in here while you're working? Well, I'll give you a hint. I don't like working. <laughs> can you validate my parking? Didn't you see you got here in a ghost carriage? That's right. Those don't actually take up space, so it doesn't count as parked. Oh, never mind then. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's the carriage house. I assume we can't get in here. Can we? You try to open the door without success. It isn't locked, but something is holding it shut, and the knob is weirdly cold. Okay, so let's talk to you, girl. Um, okay. You ready to get this show on the road? Neither one of us is getting in that place alone, I'm pretty sure. Florence. Yep, her name is Florence. Hmm, okay, let's go. Roger Copy. It's Lurga, actually. You try to handle the front door. It doesn't seem locked, but some kind of force is holding it shut. Yeah, some ghost is playing tricks on it on you because they know you ain't packing science. Stand back, I got this. Florence unlimbers her weird rifle and fires a short burst of swirling light into the doorknob. You hear an eek sound from inside and the door swings open. Ha! Works every time. Okay. Um. Well, that's kind of odd looking. So what do you think here? Pretty fancy place. That must be Mrs. Gunn herself in that painting over there. I don't like how the guy eyes follow me around. The best star triggers and emotion response I creeped out. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we got a spider. Let's get rid of the spider. This doesn't seem that scary. Exterminate it. Okay, how much health point? Well, you only have five. I mean, really, I can just give whack it with that and you're done. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. Easy for you to say. <laughs> she shudders again. Okay, nothing to it. Uh, let's take a look at this lamp. A, pure, a fancy new electric floor lamp. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Let's turn it off. Nothing happens. A new fangled electric intercom system. Use the intercom. The intercom was making annoying humming and crackling noise. Press the talk button. Hello? Ah, a ghost just said hell at me. Spooky. I'm pretty sure that's not a ghost. The intercom is just busted. Try again. Uh, hello? How's it do? Who is it? Mrs. Gunn? 
No! Psst. Mrs. Gunn. Mrs. Gert? Gitz? Oh man, that would have been... That would have been a pretty good joke if the intercom wasn't broken, would it? <laughs> no, it's Mrs. Gitz. Okay, whatever. Try again. Mrs. Gunn, did you know your intercom is broken? Your house breaks up my intercoms is broken. Are, are we just going to do this old Vaudre Vaudreville gag all day? What do you mean old? It's 1895. Vaudreville is on its peak. All right, let's try it again. Mrs. Gunn, we're here about the ghost extermination you requested. Well, one of us is, and the other is just generally adventuresome. Can we have a word? I can't bits talk out what you fancy come up with in the bits floor. All right, the bits floor is then. What? <laughs> Leave. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. Come on. Oh, you got some kind of writing here. It's a plaque. The house of Mrs. Terry Gunn. Terry, uh, Teresa Terry Gunn, 1947, built this sturdy, if architecturally unusual, manor house in the late 70s. Completed in 1877, using the proceeds from her famous invention, the gun. After her retirement in 1891, she graciously opened many of the rooms to the public as a museum and historical center. Interesting. And what's this over here? Let's turn it off. Okay. This radiator is as cold as a radiator is when the boiler isn't working. Okay, I assume. Is there any reason why um talk to her? What's what's the haps, Florence? She raises her eyebrow at you and glances at one of the weird instruments. According to my weird instruments, there are 13 ghosts left on the premises. More precisely, there are four left on the first floor, four left on the second, and five on the third. Talk to her about your current location. Pew! God, that's taken care of. Yeah, geez, Florence, it, it was only a little one. It was nearly as big as my head. Yeah, but if it, if it was drawn any smaller, it would have just looked like a black dot. Don't get all mean on me. It's unscientific, and I hate it. Okay, whatever. No, oh, I keep going. You keep going the wrong way, guy. Burr is cold as a federal grant administrator's heart in here. I wonder what's causing that. You don't think it's, you know, all that ice? No, nah, you got it backwards. The ice couldn't be here if it weren't cold to begin with. That's science. Hmm, maybe the house's heat got shut off somehow. We better see if there's a furnace or boiler or something. I'd probably be, it'd probably be in the basement. All right, let's have a look around. Oh, it is cold. The whole left half of the house is filled with ice. Okay. This looks like a picture of a carrot. Your eyesight isn't good enough to really examine this painting. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. This is the first floor. You guys are cold, I can tell. Is your whiskey keeping you warm? Unusually cold in here. Unusually cold. There's a huge wall of ice over there. Well, you don't think that's unusual? <laughs> okay. The radiator is as cold as a radiator. All right. This is a turn up. This painting is only kind of good. Kind of good. Hmm. It's one of those round fruits. Okay, there's the cellar. That's the parlor. Let's go down on the cellar first, then. The door is barred. Just bar it. You remove the bar from the door and hurl it out a nearby window. Why would I do that? Because <laughs> you're in the bar and you're hurling. Okay. Just a bunch of dusty old cleaning supplies, really. It's a box of old photos. Look through them. They're all photos of boring-looking people you don't recognize. Yeah, that's usually what most, most boxes of photos are. Oh, uh, what horrors lurk inside this thing? Tear it open to find out. Um, it's bones. Well, bones and pants. You got an item, double sunk pedaloons. Ooh, cold resistance. Hmm, I think I'm going to need that. I think I better put a, a plot tickle lock. A eh? lucky for us. I have a key for every model they made. Florence fumbles a giant key ring out of her pocket and finds the one that unlocks the door for you. Head on in. It's not what I wanted. A oh hey, a lab. Check it out. Florence starts excitedly poking around the workbenches and shelves. 
They must have been doing some really good science down here. I don't even recognize half this stuff. Okay, well, don't accidentally blow us up or anything. Psst, relax. I have an advanced degree in tinkering and fiddling. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, this is not where I meant to go. I meant to come up here and put on my pantaloons. Um... Or, oh, they automatically did. Okay, because I didn't have any pants. This was a nice pair of silk pants before it got another layer of silk added to it by spiders. And now it's a very nice pair of silk pants. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I want to look around up here first. We got paint. Look at the paint. It's a big can of paint with a brush sitting on top of it. Paint something on the wall. Boo! <laughs> okay, all right. These spiders aren't going to let you pass without a fight. Leap in! Okay. Well, they don't have much health to them. I can just kind of just stomp and they'll be dead. Stomp! Boom! Well, mostly. She'll shoot them to death. There we go. In spite of how many eyes I have, those spiders never saw you coming. Oh, uh, you got spider egg omelet. Ooh, increase your maximum health by 10 and spooky resistance by 20%. I might eat that. Uh, miscellaneous spider parts. A little pile of miscellaneous spider eggs, chins, legs, and organs. Do I don't have, ch oh, chitin. Okay. You never know when you might need to make something hor terrible, I suppose. Hmm. I think I better eat that um, uh, spider omelet. Yeah. You close your eyes for a tangerine, a different, less horrible kind of omelet. You gain an existential uh, uh, terror. Okay. Good old normal bird gamuts. Yeah. Okay. Boo, it says boo. The good news is that there's only one spider. The bad news is that it is huge. I'm tan is, tan is high despite its size. Yep, we're going to do it. Well, you're only 11. All right, I'm going to increase my moxie just for the hell of it. Then we're going to attack. Oop. Didn't work. Why not? Come on. There we go. Boom. Look at you. You're dead real fast. You turned the giant spider into a giant mess. Now it's time to collect the useful parts of the mess. Oh, another spider egg omelet and miscellaneous spider, spider parts. Bless this mess. This pie safe is really working overtime. What were all what, what with all the spiders? Hmm. You got a spider pie. Hmm. Whatever used to be in this pie has been replaced with the teeming swarms of the offspring of the spider who ate it. Ooh, ick. 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 Can we, is there like mm, mm. there's another door. Um, there's a lot of spiders. Um, and whatever, what the hell is that thing? All right, dive in. Whoa, they're quick. They whiffed gooey web. Nope. Ooh. Now I got 10 poison too. Hmm. All right, let's do my moxie. And then we're going to stomp. Stomp! Boom! That'll work. And then you just shoot. That'll work real good. You make sure work of those long-legged insects. 40. I got gob of spider web. Reduces target stats by 25%. Mm -hmm. More omelet. In the medium amount of time, too. What the hell are you? Oh, gee, somebody's trapped in this cocoon. Cut them loose. It's a mannequin? Boy, the spider must have been super disappointed. Why was it moving? <laughs> yeah, why was it moving? It's that creepy mannequin from before. Okay. Look at you guys. No! Yes! <laughs> okay. Got the jump on him. All right. Moxie up. I forgot I have the, what's this, um, action core. Hit every enemy in the roll for 12 
or 20. But they're not in a row. And I think I'd rather do stomp. Stomp, boom! And then you shoot. There we go. That was 60. It takes more than three huge spiders to stop you from killing everything you meet. More spider egg omelets. Miscellaneous. Four, maybe. Um, what do I have for unspent? 319. Mm. Lock picking is a thousand. Wow. Mm. I think I'll save them. I seem to be doing, I seem to be holding my own for it this time. Another door. Someone's been co cocooned by the spiders. Horrifying. Hey, are you okay in there? Mm, mm, what? Mm, what? I can't understand you. Hang on, I'll poke you a mouth hole. Why don't you just undo them? There, you were saying, hi, hello, salutations. Hi, hi, are you okay? I've certainly been better. What happened? I was practicing my greetings. I'm the museum greeter. Is that something that requires a lot of practice? Practice makes perfect, right? And there's an old mannequin down here that's pretty good for practicing on. Oh, yeah, we've met. Anyway, a bunch of giant spiders grabbed me from behind. It was quite a surprise. I would imagine so. I should probably get back to work. It wouldn't be right to allow visitors to go ungreeted. Can you let me out of this cocoon? Mm, sure. You cut open the sticky cocoon, bring in the trapped museum greeter. Phew, thanks. The path to the stair is clear, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting out. Great, stop by the entrance later and I'll give you the official museum greeting. Hmm, job well done. Okay, so we got a hole here. Shall we go into it? This hole contains approximately an infinite number of spiders. Pull some out and fight them. Oh, so this is another place to level up at. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and stomp. Yeah, it's a place to uh, level up at and get XP, miscellaneous. Woohoo! Pulse them out and fight them. I love that stomp. And then she just she picks up everything afterwards. It's because I built her up before. I wonder if this will do that. Usually you have to do it about four or five times before she'll... Um, before she'll level up. So let's see here. Stump. Ooh, I killed that one went right off the bat. Shoot. Yeah, she's doing 11 HP, and when we first started, she was doing maybe, I think, four or five. Let's do it again. Whoa, they're quick. If they got me that time. Whip, whip, whip. They do, they're kind of creepy looking the way they walk. They, they kind of walk like spiders would. Whoever did the an animation did a good job with them. But they're dead regardless. Hmm, she didn't level up. Let's try one more time and see. Gooey web. Scary dance. <laughs> Blue and poison. You never know. Boom. Shoot. Nope, she didn't level up, so I'm not going to keep worrying about it. Okay. So we got this door over here. What do you say? Um, what's the haps, Florence? She raises an eyebrow. You and glances at one of her weird instruments. According to my weird instruments, the Earth 13. Yeah, we already know that. Thanks. Talk to you later. It's in here. Oh, this is the broiler. There is a little spigot here, but since the broiler isn't on, it won't do, do won't do much of anything. Okay. This broiler is cold, and the indicator for the coal tank is pointing to E. Oh, I need to get some coal.
That's the whole thing. Okay, so I've got stuff I gotta do, guys. I think it was something on this side. Oop, oop, oop. I thought I... Did I get into it before? Is that the, oh, that's the safe for the spider. Oh, yeah, it was over here. That's nothing. I think I need to go in that door. It's a box of old photos. Oh, yeah, I already went through that one, too. It's a bunch of dusty old cleaning supplies. Oh, yeah, this was the stairs down. Did I go into this one? No, I didn't. Gun Manor Laboratory. Oh, that's right. Let's look at this over here. You assume that these three boxes all contain the same thing, but you don't know what it is. Okay. This workbench is littered with scrap metal and little canisters labeled Bismuth Do Not Eat. It's a chart with all 76 elements on it, including Molly Bedium, Dysposium, and Dololim. They even left room for the ones that haven't been discovered yet, like whatever. <laughs> okay. I don't want to talk to her. Yeah, I, I know. It's a workbench with a device on it. Hmm. The device clearly has a purpose, but you can't find what it is. Maybe that blueprint on the wall there could help you. Oh, is there a blueprint on the wall right there? There is. Some kind of complicated blueprint. Oh, requires 15 miscatality. What do I have? Mm, my miscatality is only 11. Okay, so what do I need to increase it? Um, can of oil. What increases my miscontality? Increases your for for the by one. Hmm. You can't drink that because you're already drunk. Level up your glamour to increase your tolerance. Oh, I forgot. I've got points. Yeah, I've got points to spend. Duh. Okay. And then glamour so I can drink in more. And then I still have 314. Cool. No, can I read it? Try to figure it out. <clears throat> Hmm, aha, it's a device for reducing the loudness of gunfire, a silencer, if you will. Really? You look over the tools on the bench. You could definitely make a silencer here. The first thing you'll need is a 1.2337 diameter cylinder. Hmm, maybe a tin can would work? You'll also need some stuffing to pad out the inside of the can. That's going to be tricky to find. Okay, maybe time later then. I just have to remember all this stuff. It's a bench covered with gunsmithing tools and supplies. Mess with them. You don't really know much about gunsmithing, so you just kind of randomly cram pieces together until you have something gun-shaped. You got them, item, the worst gun. <laughs> Who's got two thumbs and is lucky they haven't been shot off, off yet because of this inexpertly constructed gun? You! All right, that's something I got to sell. It's a cabinet full of first aid supplies. Ooh. Patient... Oh, cures poison, uh, expensive medicine. It heals 50% of your maximum health points. This medicine is so expensive that it has a gold cross on the label. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's something here. It's a box of science stuff. Box of science doonickies. This is a box of various glass tubes and coils of wire and little vials of chemicals and whatnot. Hmm. So what would I do with that? No, I don't know. What would I do with that? Um, no, okay. I know there's another door I think I went by. I haven't seen any ghosts here. We went in that last one. How about this one? Oh, this is the coal bin. That's where I was trying to get to. It seems to you like this machine is designed to suck up coal and send it through the wall, but then again, you're no expert in matters of coal or sucking. Well, okay, whatever. It's the coal chute. 
Shoot uh, on shoot on up it. Oh. Oh, is this the back of the house? The remains of a coal delivery man. His bones are charred as though he were burned in some kind of coal man stove. Search the bones. Ooh, I got a gun manor carriage house key. But I already the little tag not pictured on this key rigs gun manor carriage house. Do not duplicate. Good things key copy machines haven't been invented yet. Well, I already got in because I know how to pick. It smells like coal, but it's empty. What's this crap over here? It's a large amount of food in various stages of decay. Maybe someone's trying to start a compost heap. That would be the terrible explanation. Requires stench resistance. How do you get stench resistance? Hmm. Didn't I have something in my kit that was stench resistance? That, that just sounds familiar. Heart attack. Because it does sound familiar, but I guess maybe I don't. Um, clothing is not going to be that. Maybe? Um, bag of tar. I thought I did examine them. No, leave them alone for now. I did. Um, hmm. Miscellaneous spider parts. Oh, I can assemble them? You have 28 horrible piles of spider parts. What awful thing would you like to construct out of them? Oh. Um... I changed my mind. We'll do that later. Stench resistance. I could have swore I had stench resistance. Climb down. <clears throat> you holler for Florence and she comes over to you. Whoa, Nellie, hold on a second. That's a ghost. Those things are dangerous. I wasn't expecting to see any of these here. What? You're a ghost hunter and you're here specifically to hunt ghosts. No, 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 that's just ghosts. This is a ghost. A greater haunt originating from spectral transmissions. What? Totally different from a ghost. Except for the name you mean? Except for, anyway, those things can be pretty tough. Heck, I knew I should have brought a bismuth bomb. A what bomb? Bismuth. It's a sort of silvery metal that screws with special energy the way iron does with magnetic energy. Huh, so where do we get a bismuth bomb? Bismuth. Bismuth. Normally, I just make them myself in my lab. Well, so much for that idea, then. Well, that workbench we found earlier might have the stuff I need. Mm, let's come back later, then. Okay. Um, that's the coal bin. We've been in here. Oh, no, no. Uh, this was the coal. This was the... Yep, that's that. i just trying to get my bearings here. Come on, out the door. Here we go, sliding down the floor, sliding down the floor. All right, come on, come on, we got boo. Okay, so this workbench is littered with, um, hey, Florence, can you make a bis bisquick bomb out of this stuff? Bismuth, come on, man, it says it right on the counter containers. Fine, fine, can you make it though? Hell yeah, I can, stand back and watch a master at work. Stand back. Florence goes to a town with a hammer and pliers and comes back with a metal sphere. It has a green skull painted on it and a big red button on the side. Well, it's probably, that's properly intimidating at least. And it ain't just a pretty face. Okay, bismuth bomb. This is a bomb which Florence assume, assures you is safe unless you're a coal-based 
plasmas, and you're not one of those as far as you know. Groovy. Okay. Out the door. Here we go, walking on our hands. Come on. Here we go. We got your butt now. We got your butt now. Lawrence holds up the bismuth bomb and gives you an excited look. Okay, go for it. Great. Better cover your ears and eyes and we'll just cover your entire head. Let her take her tip. Let her. Let her let let her let her rip. Okay. Did you get rid of it? Looks like it did. Okay. A bag. A big old cart of coal. Push it. You could, you could almost disappoint so many kids on Karimbo morning with this amount of coal. <laughs> okay, now. There is a coal, there's coal under the weird machine now, so everything should be ready to go with whatever the weird machine does. Okay. No, no, not there. I'm wrong way. The boiler clatters to life as the tank full of coal begins to burn. Yay! There's a little spigot here. Turn it on. You pour a little bit of boiling water onto the dirt floor, making hot mud. Did I really? Turn it on. You pour a little bit of boiling water onto the dirt floor, making hot mud. Well, what, what, what was it good for that? Okay. Depending on where I stand, it changes the tone. Huh, weird. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> He's just too funny. Ah, turning on the broiler solved our ice problem. My scientific hypothesis has been proven correct. But we don't have direct evidence connecting the ice to the... Don't you try and pull a post-hoc-ergo... propter hoke on me. I'll shoot you with my science rifle. In that case, I totally agree with you. Let's hunt on some ghosts. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. So this should be nice and warm now. The radiators... Oop, come on. I clicked. The radiators are bubbling nice, merrily, and producing plenty of heat now. Oh, it's all gone. Okay, we got many doors here. So an elevator? This is a sign that says only authorized and trained personnel may operate this elevator. I don't want to, I don't want to go on the elevator right now. Oh, that's a peanut. A painting of an elephant would love this. Okay. Here's the kitchen. Um, there's a ghost. There's a ghost here mumbling and muttering and yammering something about eggs. Interpret his disjointed ravings. Hang on a second, you tried to poach an egg by shooting it? Er, dang gumma, yes, that's what I did. Heck, of course I did. That's how you poach an egg, puppy. Pappy didn't use no, didn't raise no fool, but dang gum fresh hugging egg rolled out of the way of the bullet. Ricocheted off of the bottom of the cook pot and got me right between the peppers, er, dang gum. That's how, that's not how you poach an egg. <clears throat> what are you talking about? You're... What are you talking out of your head like that? Of course it is. No, it isn't. Dang gum and boy, me and my pappy and his pappy have been poachers all our lives. And I know more about poaching than you ever will. Okay, we're talking about different poaching here. Okay, but that's not the same kind of poaching. What's all this dang gum sass mush talking, boy? Poaching, poaching. Am I going to prove you so wrong as soon as I figure out how? I'm going to prove you so wrong as soon as I figure out how. <laughs> but poaching ain't poaching. It's a well-stocked spider rack, spice rack, but all of the spices are really boring. 
Okay, whatever you say. I've had with your weird business before cooking. Um, I'll preview eventually somehow. Okay, so this whole thing is to... Can I... I can't get past you? Hmm. Let's go to the ice room then. <clears throat> Aha, someone left the ice room door open. That explains the ice. Okay. <laughs> the door of the ice room. Go inside. Bags of frozen food, undefinable matter, frozen solid. It's a Meg, Mega Mechtech brand deep freeze unit. More frozen goods of unknown composition in province. Another shelf of frozen goods. Hey, hey, excuse me. You seem to be trapped in a block of ice. That was just what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. Can you get me out of here somehow? Besides the whole frostbite thing, I'm supposed to be running the elevator, and there aren't any proper stairs in this crazy place, so that's kind of important. Mm, let me think. I can't think of anything. Well, no hurry or anything. I think I can still feel a couple of my toes, and I don't actually need those to work the elevator, I guess. So, you know, take your time. <laughs> okay. Didn't I have to, um... Hmm. Well. Oh, I can't go past him. Okay. On we go. <clears throat> A lot of little stuff here. A still life for fruit, technically. Some decorative dried plants. A small, a still life, a still life of a fruit. And dining room. Okay. The rug. A rack full of expensive looking plates. Look more closely. Oh, horrifying. No! <laughs> I broke them. I broke them. These look like all ghosts eating over here. This ghost is cramming his face with invisible food, maybe. He's the ghost of an employer? Of an emperor. <clears throat> Correct his manners. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, buddy. Hey. Huh? Come on, man, at least use a napkin or stick your pinkies out or something. Oh, uh, hey, sorry about that. I'm just so hungry. What's going on here? This waiter doesn't know how to make ghost food, so he's just giving me a imaginary food and hoping I won't know the difference. I feel kind of bad about dragging him into this mess, so I've been pretending to eat it to humor him. I'm starving. Huh? You need some actual ghost food? Maybe I can help you out. Oh, God, yes, please. Specifically, what I want is a bowl of chili. A bowl of chili without a gun in it. Okay, I'll... What? That's what I'm craving. I guess it's probably because I of how I died. <laughs> without a gun in it. <clears throat> how did you die? Well, I was eating some chili and it had a gun in it. Did you choke? What? No, it went off and shot me to death. <laughs> Why did... Look, all I know is I need to eat a bowl of gunless chili in order to satisfy my hunger and pass on to the afterlife. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh my god that's just too funny oh uh, how about this guy one of the museum staff is frantically serving empty plates to the ghost who is politely pretending to shovel the food in by the fistful he seems too busy to talk to you oh my god this is just too funny carts laden with empty dishes It's a deserted desert. It's a deserted dessert card. <laughs> Braided. <laughs> okay, it's not entirely deserted. It's only deserted of desserts. Just desserts. You've got an item, a small blowtorch. Oh, this little blue torch door. Yeah, I can use the blowtorch to get her unthawed. Yay. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be in my next episode. This is a big area. All right, so I'm going to go in, um, back into the kitchen, in the ice box, and we are going to get her out of frozen. Oh, who's this? Who's who's this? That looks like me. No, no, that is me because that's the ghost. Okay. Anyway, if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.